Hey everybody, welcome once again to our Low on Health Year End Review. This one is kind of different. We're actually going to focus on Just loading, loading, ready run. loading Ready Run content. We've talked about these people so many times across the years, and I think we've had enough different things specifically dealing with Loading Ready Run for us to do our own little video about like what we thought of Loading Run this year or just our interactions with them to a degree. Um, so first off, boom, Loading Ready Run. This is the website in the, of the Comedy Troop series that we've been talking about forever and yep. ever. And I keep trying to get everybody to watch, which you should, because all their stuff is really funny. And I apologize for that because I got <laughs> her into it. But they're just really good. They have such a There's huge nothing to apologize for. swath of stuff that they do now. Um, yeah, they do so much. And fun. actually in 2015, they're cutting back a little bit. But, like, their live streaming alone, they have, like, this huge schedule of people that do streaming. Like, this is their they streaming. They stream literally almost every single night. And a bunch of Sunday. different stuff they stream, like magic stuff, a bunch of different video games, old school video games. Um, they're just really good if you are interested in any type of streaming stuff and seeing what all the Let's Play stuff's about. They're a pretty good go go to for. Uh, in which case, we'll play this watch and play that they do. Um, but it's just really great what they do. This they're, is Graham and Alex. Because so. usually we wait for their like skits or their production things to come out in episodic forms or whatnot. But like the streaming stuff, you get to see them almost on a daily basis, um, which is just really cool because they're just funny people in general. Um, but this is of course Graham and Alex. Of course, Alex was wearing a green sheet on that green screen. <laughs> Dark green. Um, so you can't really see Percival, which we actually have to have one right here. I, yeah, I got this little guy at Megacon, and, and then the, I saw later in the year they have the exact same little guy. So um, I was like, I'm a nerd. But yeah, this is basically what Let's Plays. If you were wondering what Let's Play, South Park did a good uh, lampoon of them, of just Let's Plays in general. Give a shot, Loading Raider Runs are really, really good. Um, next thing I want to talk about is last year during Desert Bus, which of course is the t-shirts that we're wearing. This is this year's. This is this year's. 2014. In 2013, you did the art challenge for Kathleen, in which case you did this and you actually won. Yeah, yes. like a little D&D &D booklet thing. This year, there was an art challenge, and we actually recorded her picking them. It was of their cats. Yes, Kathleen and um, Graham have two Maine Coon cats, Baxter and Cavern, and Kathleen's art challenge this year was to draw Baxter and Cavern. There's... No prompt other than that. Just right. draw Baxter and Cat. Second place. Oh, I drew it. Two. This is uh, Rose Nightshade. Look Holy at that. What? Wow. what the uh, what? What? Yeah, like that one is amazing. Oh wow. You must have sent the photo reference. So Rose flipped out because she got first place, but nonetheless... No, it was okay that I didn't get first place. They were very impressed with her artwork yet again. So that was kind of cool. You, you got to do that for Desert Bus. Um, and real quick, Desert Bus is a big auction charity thing that they do. Yes, Desert Bus for Hope. They do it every year. It is a charity that they run that benefits... Um, well, it's a, a charity event that they run that benefits the, Child's Play which Charity, is Penny which Arcade, is Penny Arcade Case founded. And it's done like a telethon, like a 24-hour, 10-plus days in a row of them playing this just, game. Yeah, just playing this really boring game, um, but, but they do all kinds of funny stuff. And, and I donated a uh, wand that I carved this year, so I donated that. Them. It's from Rum Tonight Shade. Yeah, you do native auctions. <laughs> they basically do like auctions and raffles and a bunch yes, of other and cool they stuff. Auctioned it off silent auction and it made two hundred and eighty dollars for the charity. So, so I was, was I was very happy about that. Um, now you've also I wanted to contribute because they've done they've entertained us so much over the years. It's like I want to help them do contribute the stuff that they do. Yeah. Um, and a cool thing was is uh real quick, uh Jer. Uh, one of their people. Um, you'll yeah. see a video of him in a second or yeah. two. He's one of um, he asked us for. Uh, he he put up on Twitter that he wanted a pin from the Magic GP that we were going to. Yeah, he tweeted if any of the fans were going to the GP, if they were going to go to that event, if they would be willing to trade the pin from that event. So this isn't the Magic pin. This is basically the pin. Mm -hmm. He asked us what pin you would like, and I was like, "Ooh, yes. get creepy doll." Yeah, and I was like, "We want creepy doll." Because we don't really care about about uh, the, we yeah, wanted we pin specific to loading ready run. Yeah, um, and. Then he sent a note along with it, because as you see, Pigglesworth from Checkpoint is there. He sent us a note that says, I don't know how easy that is to read, but it says, Sorry it took a few days to get these in the mail. I can easily buy another creepy doll, so I decided to sweeten the pig, as it were. Which is a reference to Desert Bus. Um, and he said, All the best and thanks. And he signed it, Jer, with a little ducky. So originally you were supposed to be creepy doll, and he basically... He decided to give us Pigglesworth as well, which is from Checkpoint, which is one of their um, series that they do. And I was really happy i sent them something extra 
they run a they're currently running a D and D campaign called Temple of the Lava Bears. And I drew, I decided as like an extra thank you for him doing the pin trade with us, just because I wanted to give them something nice. Um, I drew all of their characters from the campaign. That is Thok, which is um, Paul's character. Nonetheless, that is Ryan, which is... Um, they, they can read, they can read. <laughs> Basically, you did a bunch of fan art for the D&D campaign that they, they were doing. Yes, and you sent them I did all the characters. these They're... along with the pen that we gave him, not knowing that he was going to give you two pins. No, I had no, no idea. idea he was going to do anything extra, which I'm really glad that I sent those. Real quick, there's and the And that wand. is um, a nicer uh, photograph of the wand Maybe. that I made for them. But nonetheless, you did these, you put them up in a dragon shield, and you basically sent them yeah, up Yeah, they're the size of a magic card. You're like, hey guys, here's thank you for you guys, everything you guys do. Here's some yeah, I just fan art to do something nice for your for thing. And then these are, um, two of those, Derg and Chip, I drew after the fact, because those characters hadn't appeared yet on... The campaign. So nonetheless, you sent the cards to them. We were wondering if they got them, what they thought about them, whatnot. They posted some on Twitter, like, hey, thank you, yeah, blah, couple, blah, blah. Yeah, a couple like, of yeah. people were like, hey, cool. Um, but one of the cool things is during one of the D&D campaigns... Because they're all... Is wearing a fuck, game. so... Yeah. You actually saw So basically, you can almost... You can see right now Paul's playing with his. Paul's playing with I'm his, yeah. That I can... You're an elf. Yeah. Sorry, this, we, we just got these cool uh, we can, like, character card art from... Uh, I didn't do Rose, it for attention. Rose, Rose Nightshade, I'm, I'm, I'm a little jealous of your, uh, your card. Super cool looking. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm, Matt didn't I'm get one. I didn't yeah. know about his character. Yet. Nonetheless, and James here throughout like the campaign and even like now the episodes that we're watching, he's constantly playing. He's constantly fiddling playing with it. Playing with it and fiddling <laughs> with it because it's basically it's, it has a uh, tip magic card tip card behind it. Um, it has a tip card behind it and a dragon shield, so they're constantly, like, he's constantly playing with yeah. uh, the card, um, which is really cool, and you were really just happy to see that they got him and they used him. I was and happy, them. I, was like, I was slightly embarrassed while being happy at the same time, because yeah. I, I didn't do it, I didn't do it for their attention, I just did it as, like, a nice thank you for, I don't know, all their stuff that they're always doing. Yeah, um, but... Nonetheless, that's kind of what we just want to talk about, Loading Radio Run. We enjoy their work immensely. We really yes. want to thank them for all the hours and hours of, like, entertainment they have provided us with, uh, uh, to us. Um, especially, like, even their, this was their last season in 2014 of them doing weekly skits every Monday. Yeah. They've now moved to a Patreon <laughs> structure to where they're kind of just working on other projects. Um, so we're kind of being really interested to see what they're going to do. Yeah, because the they're going to do new, interesting, random things mm -hmm. that they have ideas for, so that should be cool to see how that goes they haven't debuted any of those yet but you know it's only like what halfway through january at the but moment, they're still so. very entertaining they still have a huge back catalog oh god yeah of stuff we just watched nearly all of it and their back catalog is great um so we just want once again to say thank you to learning Ready run and of course yes. if you haven't watched it maybe just watch a thing or here yeah go watch learning Ready run stuff if you haven't yet and check yeah, out desert and Bus, it's not necessarily it's weird and interesting it's and not necessarily for everybody out, so. we understand that but at least give yes something. it is don't you lie to people it is good for everybody it is good for the family put but, hair on your chest but as everybody thank you for watching and we will catch you next time